So welcome back everyone and today I'm going to unbox this little baby the package I said I was waiting uh, in my last video <coughs> just received it today finally after almost a month and I'll try to not shake the camera this time as I've seen in my last video it was a lot shaky when I, I move on the table, so I'll try not to do this now. So let's unbox this. Let's open this. Be careful. package. Little note there. What is this? Oh, that's the receipt. And here it is. Pure solar for the dream gas. Made by watermelon. <coughs> they have their own little custom box it's sealed but it's pretty sealed because I want to play this game anyway so the seal is broken now look at that The CD really, really cool. The box. This is the generic one. But for the first print, they had a different one for every country um, US, Europe, and Japan. But now, they only make this one for everyone. So for those that don't know, um, Pure Solar is a game that's watermelon made on the Sega Genesis on 2013, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It was a Sega Genesis game. Um, it's a 16-bit RPG. Um, uh, pretty much like uh, it looks a lot like Lunar, I'd say. <coughs> and um, for some reason, I, I think they never thought it would be so popular. But it was short print, and they made a reprint um, of the game. And in 2015, uh, I think it's November or December. I bought mine on December, but I think it was released on November. But they made an HD remake on Sega Dreamcast. So it's an unlicensed game for Dreamcast, but it's really good on like the box. It's the Dreamcast box. <coughs> and I think now it runs on 30. 2 bit. Uh, it's a little bit. It's better. Graphically, it's better. But the game is the same. It's. Sorry, I'm pretty sure I shaved the table right now. Um, yeah, it's a 32 bit now. Um, upgrade soundtrack, upgrade graphic, upgrade pretty much everything. But you have the option of playing the original one on this disc. So, pretty much when you buy this one, you can play the Genesis version and the Dreamcast version but what is really cool about that you don't have to do a separate game you can be in your game and on the fly you just press a button it switched to 16-bit graphic or Dreamcast graphic so you can change on the fly see the difference so it's really really cool um, let's 
see what's in there. Yeah, that's a poster. It looks like this. I don't want to see damage it. Yep. That's a really nice poster. Really nice. It's gonna stay in there actually. I don't want to damage it on by putting it in my wall. There's a manual in there. Come <coughs> on. There's a sticker. For you to put on your screencast or controller, whatever you want. Oh. It's a different. The cover is not the, the actual manual. in English, French, Spanish, Japanese, and I don't know what is the other language, but there's another one. Oh, it's in color. It's really, really nice. Look at that. So gold in color. Wow. It's really good quality. Really impressed. It, it, it looks like not scratch only three cast system. <laughs> Says here it's not a PS2 game. Shame. <laughs> I would be even more happy if it was a PS2 game actually. <coughs> it's really cool. Really, uh, if I would not know it's not a real Dreamcast game, I would never, would never have guessed it. Because the quality is so good. It looks like the Dreamcast CD, Dreamcast box, Dreamcast, everything. Like the Dreamcast logo is on that. I'm not sure if they said how many, how much it has been updated. No. Doesn't really matter because it's even if it would be only a port of the Sega Genesis, I would still buy it. <coughs> you can still buy the Genesis port, by the way, but it's a lot more expensive than this. And in my opinion, this is better because you have the Genesis port on this, plus the new soundtrack and. Um, better graphic with cinematic, so I think unless you're really a Genesis fan, what's the point? Right. Might as well. It, uh, well, I know that not many people own a Dreamcast, so maybe maybe why? But that's the reason I bought my Dreamcast. So I'll give you a review of the game because obviously I haven't played yet. I just unboxed it. I've seen a lot of review and video online, but I haven't played it myself. But a lot of people say on the Genesis was the best RPG released now. So I mean, and I've heard this from many gamers on YouTube and people that love the Genesis, so it's 
not, it's not because they're bashing on Sega or something. Oh, and that's what I wanted to tell. And um, by the way, Sega, they, it's not licensed or funded by Sega, but they are aware of this game, they know about it, and they just don't mind. They, they, they accept that the fact that Watermelon released game on their machine, and it's totally okay with them, so no problem of it's illegal or something. It's not like Nintendo. You could never do this on a Nintendo system, or you would get sued like crazy. So, yeah, I can't wait to play it. There's, there's a, it's for sure, it won't show in the camera, but the image here are just looking gorgeous. So, you know, last little look. I'll put the link for Watermelon Store in the description below if you want to check their product. Uh, I have not really checked if they have anything else in Pure Solar, but uh, you can still buy Pure Solar on Genesis and Dreamcast. I'm not sure for how long, because it's uh, limited. So, tell me what you think about it. Do you plan buying it? Do you think it's good, bad? Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye!